What up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Jesus Stars. In today's video I'm going to be giving you 6 tips that you can use to overcome artist block or you know maybe you don't know what to draw or you just feel unmotivated and I came up with these 6 little tips that you can use to overcome it. They work for me. I even got some examples for each uh, idea to go with it. So you guys can see how I apply those tips into a drawing. So hopefully these help you out. So let's be honest guys, when we're artists, we get hit with these things pretty often and it freaking sucks. So hopefully you apply these techniques that helps you move forward and get over these things. So let's actually get into the video right away. Alrighty folks, so starting with number one, redraw old art. Now with this one, I really had to scroll down to the very pits of my Instagram page where the art, honestly, in my personal opinion, isn't really the best. But I was just starting to learn how to use drawing tablets on the computer and just getting more um, practice with digital art. So a lot of them and a lot of the first posts that I actually posted on my Instagram page, I'm not really happy with how they came out, but I keep them up there. Or down there because it's kind of like a reminder for whenever I do decide to scroll all the way down which is like very rarely it's to show how much I've been improving and you know if somebody decides to actually scroll down they'll say it was like man this guy came from these kinds of drawings to that and to me it's motivational and also I think that redrawing old art is cool because you get to work on a concept that you've had before just an idea and then you just redraw and you can see how much you've improved, what your, how your techniques are different now. And also you have a drawing at the end that's complete. And I think it's really important, you know, to be consistent with anything that you're doing. This doesn't have to be completely focused on art. But you have a finished idea and you didn't even have to think of anything brand new because you can just look at old stuff that you feel, man, I feel like I can do better and I know I can do better. So then you attack that and you learn more about your techniques and your improvement and you ultimately have something in the end, you know, that didn't require too much brain power. So that's this one right here. So number one, redraw old art. Uh, number two, watch your favorite artists for inspiration. Now this one I went on YouTube and watched one of my favorite YouTube artists, 1000. I really love his videos, I just love his style and like the way he presents his art and his videos. And I just think it's unique and he's definitely really underrated. So check him out. But here he did a video where he drew characters for 24 hours. And I got the idea, it's like man I'll draw some characters and stuff, fill up a whole little page. Obviously I didn't do a whole 21 hours. I'll probably do a video where I do that. Let me know in the comment section if you'll actually want me to torture myself and do that. But I got the idea just by watching that specific video where I'm gonna draw a bunch of characters with no sketch prior, no pencil sketch or anything, because that's what he did. He just went straight in and knew that every single line was gonna be used to create a character. So I decided to test myself a little bit and do that and came up with this. So definitely use the artists that you admire and that you like and use their ideas, their art as inspiration to get you to draw something that they would do. Something similar, you know, do the, do the draw this in your style challenge. That's also how you can apply this. As you can see, this was the little drawing I did based off no sketch prior just filling up a whole little page with little characters and I actually really like how this one came out I'm actually considering doing a whole 24 hour non-stop drawing challenge but I'll probably be down the road so thank you 1000 for this idea and I know I'll get more ideas off your videos in the future so two use artists as inspiration number three turn the ordinary into extraordinary now, with this one, I think that a lot of the times we're always thinking, man, I gotta create the next Mona Lisa, the next uh, Starry Night. Or, you know, we always think we have to have like super cool, crazy art ideas. 
But with this one, I decided to just look around the room and look at ordinary day, average everyday things like a lamp that I have, an apple, you know, a flower, a pencil, my computer, Legos, my lunchbox, and a chair. And I just decided to draw them out. You don't have to make every single art piece that you make something, you know, super crazy, super cool. I mean, you can, but you can take these ordinary things and just make them your own. And they're extraordinary in the fact that you added your own spin to them. And they're different. And it doesn't require you to use too much brain power to really think of something new and different. It's really just looking around at what you got in your room or wherever you are in your environment. And just draw the things that you see and, you know, make a page out of it. And there you got something drawn out. And in the future, you can use this has more ideas to work on so turn the ordinary into extraordinary number four experiment with new ideas now as you guys know when I've been uh, painting recently probably like the past year and before that I haven't painted in years but with this one my sister actually wanted a commission of her dog and she told me about this project like a couple months before but I kind of put it off because I was a little bit nervous about attempting a dog portrait I, w I had no idea how I was gonna actually try to do this but I watched a couple YouTube videos of people doing pet portraits and applied some of their techniques now this is the first pet portrait I've ever done I think it came out pretty good let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this this dog portrait her name's Pina she's spoiled little dog but she is amazing she's so cute and I love her but I actually really like how she even turned out in this painting and I hope she looks at it and thinks that she's looking into a reflection because it looks just like her when she's super fluffy and hasn't had a haircut in a while but I think that it's important to experiment with things that you know you aren't used to because it breaks you out of your comfort zone and you really get to see where you can move forward with your art and you know discover things that you didn't know about yourself before like this one I didn't think I was gonna successfully create a somewhat realistic dog portrait I thought I was gonna attack this you know making a cartoon dog but I really wanted to push myself to try something different apply new techniques and now I'm excited to do my next pet portrait whenever the opportunity arises. So this actually came out pretty dope. I'm really excited to give this to my sister and see her reaction when she sees it in person. And also her dog Pina's reaction. So it's definitely important to experiment because sometimes, you know, the reason we get art block is because we're just so used to drawing either the same things or using the same techniques. And it's not really exciting for us anymore. But the thing is, if you start experimenting with different mediums or drawing different things, you can really push you out of your comfort zone. And then you're like, man, I should be doing more of this instead of this all the time. So it's like you have different options. So variety is the spice of life. So five, focus on what interests you. Now with this one, I think it's important to know what it is that you personally like and drawing the things that you like, not necessarily stuff that you know is popular on social media or just stuff really that's like for chasing clout and just trying to get the most likes or just doing what other people do. I think it's important to do things that interest you because then you know you have that drive because it's something that you like obviously and it's not something external outside of you where it's like I just want to do this to get a lot of likes or something like that like that but me I've always told myself man I just want to get to a point where I can draw really attractive women characters so here and there I'll practice drawing female characters and a lot of the times you know I struggle with you know getting the proportions right or just getting a face that doesn't look like a monster and just like <laughs> stuff like that but the thing that motivates me is just knowing that if I do continue to keep drawing these girl characters that they'll improve and they'll look better and I've always just wanted to do that just draw attractive female characters so 
that's what pushes me to draw characters like this whenever I feel blocked so draw what interests you things that you like and don't focus on external things that have nothing to do with you or your art so that's number five and number six make it a habit so I think it's important to make a routine or a habit out of anything that you want to improve on so there's always times where you know it's like we can't find the time in the day to really focus on the one thing we want to improve on but I've gotten to the point where I feel like not human <laughs> or not myself if I don't draw something at least one thing a day I have to draw something it doesn't even have to be anything complicated with this one I decided I need to draw hands because practicing hands is something that I need to work on because hands freaking suck they're so complicated and they're so intricate and stuff but it's definitely important to make it a habit to create something it doesn't have to be something crazy you could practice little things like this I'm drawing hands you know made it cool in the end make him colorful and just overall pretty happy with the process and that's what we got here so I'm gonna wrap this video up go back to the studio with myself and put any final thoughts so back to you Jesus alrighty folks well that about wraps up this video let me know which one of these six tips you're gonna use for your next drawing let me know what tips I didn't include in here that you personally use that can help others stay motivated to draw. Drop that down in the comment section below. And also, which one of the six drawings did you like the best out of all the ones that I used for the examples? Drop that down also. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Comment, art block sucks in the comment section below if you made it this far in the video. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for next week for another video. Peace and love, keep creating, keep trill, and I'm out.